Erin French, you know her as the chef and owner of the Lost Kitchen Restaurant in Freedom, Maine. She's joining us for a special announcement because Erin has a new cookbook out coming out mm. later this year. It's called Big Heart Little Stove. Erin, always great to have mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Uh, Big Heart Little Stove. Isn't the little stove part kind of an homage to yesteryear for it's, you, your apartment when you started cooking? Exactly. It's how I started, on a small apartment and a supper club in my, my little apartment. And, you know, now I'm running a restaurant. So it's really about putting your heart in. You don't need a lot of big... You know, ingredients or tools, it's all about just putting the love into it. So, mm. what's going on at the Lost Kitchen this summer? I'm very busy. Yeah, I won't believe it. Yeah, postcards are streaming in. We're getting ready for 10th season at the Lost Kitchen in Freedom. So, wow. I'm really excited to have this. Uh, people are excited to get there. The all right, what do you, is this in the book? This is in the book. And so, this kind of starts out from my diner days. When I was 12 <laughs> years old, I started cooking at my dad's diner. It's the first thing he let me cook. And produce. So um, we're going to make Thank a fried God he fish. Did. This is amazing. Right? This is a Friday fish fry. <laughs> what kind of fish are we going with? So we've got hake here, um, but you could also use cod. I like using a nice, thick, flaky white fish because you can taste the real meatiness mm. and flakiness. So basically, what we do is we cut these into fish fingers because if you remember, like Van de Camp's dreams come true. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so you take the fish, and then um, what you want to do is take a little bit of flour, and then we have some cornstarch and a little bit of paprika. Mm -hmm. You just whisk it up, and this is just going to give a little something that you can just sort of start the fish out. So what you want to do is um, take the fish fingers here and we can just sort of... Right into the dry. You There's no put them wet into the ingredient dry. there. There's like a wet a coming chicken. up. Okay. But, you do, but this is going to help make everything stick to it that we're going to put together over here. Um, now, here comes the fun part for you, Carson, yep. because um, you have to start with this. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Thank um, you. And so we, <laughs> we have a bit of um, flour and some cornstarch, <clears throat> but I need a cup of that. Do you okay. Mind? So uh -huh. I just need a cup of the beer, but you can drink the rest of it. Perfect. And then we make our batter here. And so <clears throat> it's a good deal. The beer really just helps Does to make matter it light. What, what beer you use there? I like to use a lighter beer, not too hoppy, because you just don't want that flavor to come through. Mm -hmm. So a lager or a golden. Um, and so basically after that, you're going to take your little dredged guys here, and then you bring them on over into here. Mm -hmm. And then you can just drop them right in to the fry layer. Get them going. What temperature is that oil at? So I'm at 375, okay. and I want this to go for like four or five minutes until these are nice and, <coughs> you know, they're just going to be like crispy and golden and perfect. And so do that. You don't want to overcrowd the so fryer. So you go dry, so. you go beer batter, wet, boom in the oil. Exactly. What kind of oil, exactly. what kind of oil do you use? So canola is a really good easy one, or there's also vegetable oil is okay. a nice light one as well. So you just want to keep doing that dry, wet, drop it in, and you're going to have like the fish fry of your dreams. What's oh. the secret to getting a good batter? You know, like that kind of crisps up like a restaurant. Yeah, so really it's the beer because you have all that carbonation. Oh, um, you could use club soda if you want, but I think the beer gives a little bit of flavor there. All right. Um, and you can't have a fish fry without French fries. So no, we have to have How's the fish, fries, by right? the way? Oh, it's phenomenal. Oh, right? Everything she, it's like everything she touches. It's crispy. Yeah. Like, mm. I really came up with this recipe to make the fish fry of my dreams. So you've got your French fries. You want to cut them into perfect squares because that's how they're going to get nice and crispy. You want to soak them oh, overnight a, in a bit of water because oh. that's going to take up starch. So start these, yeah, start these the day before. Pop them in the fridge. And that makes that. them crispier when you That's going to make water? them crispier. So um, yeah. and, and here's how you make them even more crispier. You're going to fry them twice. So first, mm. you're going to fry them at 325 Double degrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you just kind of you, you cook them just until they're just barely cooked. Okay. okay. And then you let them rest. You can do that a day at head, too. So when you're ready oh. to really fry, go I ahead, fry drop them on in. Mm -hmm. Now they're ready. Now yeah. we're going to raise the temperature to 375. We just learned something. And go for it. But so did now you take them out between fries? I missed that. You take them out between fries. Okay, and then, then you get the, the heat back up hotter. Bring the heat up. And then bring them back in. Yep, bring them back in. Okay. And then so you're going to fry those four or five minutes till they're nice and crispy. Now you want your crispy fries. So mm -hmm. they're going to come out looking like this. Oh it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You're going to toss them into the bowl with a bit of garlic and some fresh rosemary that you can just toss in there and some salt and then all you have to do is just toss this up and we're going to plate them in these cones so we have a recipe for newspaper cones because it's oh, kind of so fun cute. that's putting a little heart into it right there oh my so gosh, these french fries. fries top it with the fish oh, oh it's so good you don't even need ketchup for that. No, nope. no. What do you no dip ketchup. your fries in? Nope. What do you like? No ketchup. Mayo? I normally ketchup. do, but ketchup. this doesn't Some even need it. Sriracha mayo. as well. A little sriracha? Yeah, a little mayo. And then um, we also have these little drinks that we have to go with it. So this is like a strawberry rhubarb shrub. You've got this little bit of ice and ready to go. I mean, you're crushing this. Is, uh, this hey. is what we do in, in Freedom, Maine. Aaron, thank you. Go ahead and uh, recipes and pre-orders. So copy of Big Heart All Little right. Stove. Go to today.com slash food.